Oh my gosh, happy Sunday. Last week I didn't get enough PR again, so I did two weeks of PR. First, starting out strong with Skin Fix. They sent me two moisturizers. This one is their triple lipid peptide cream, which I've tried before and I really like. One thing I really like about Skin Fix is their products come in pumps. So you just pump right here and then you're able to swipe. I think this is so much more sanitary than a jar. If you're worried about the extra plastic, don't worry, they offer refill inserts. Next, they sent me their Skin Barrier Restoring Gel Cream, and this one's a thinner consistency. I'm not sure if I've ever tried this, but this one would be great for the daytime this one would be great for nighttime thank you so much skin fix next i got a package from living proof look at this cute tin that they gave me oh my gosh this is so cool and on the inside there is a mirror i will be reusing this tin they sent me their perfect hair day high shine gloss and i actually had the opportunity to try this before it was released i will say it makes your hair so smooth and so soft i'm so happy to have a restock of this they also sent me this little mirror and comb it's really heavy. I feel like this would be perfect for John and his beard. Thank you so much, Living Proof. Next, I got a package from my favorite cover girl. They sent me their True Blend Skin Enhancer. Okay, they sent me a ton. Let's get into it. First, let's take a look at all the primers. This is the first shade and it is a replenishing primer. Next is a pore erasing primer. This is a color neutralizing primer. This is a sticky grip primer. I had to guess, I would say this is a dupe for the Milk Hydro Grip. I'm sure this poreless one is a dupe for the YSL Poreless Primer. There's also a Super Goop one that's very similar in consistency and it could be a dupe for that. I'm sure there's a ton of other pore erasing primers, but these are just the ones I've tried. I'm not sure about these two, but I just know that they're dupes for something and I'm so excited to figure it out. Next, these are both illuminators and I'm wondering, are they dupes for these? I'm gonna have to make a video testing these all out because I just know, I just know CoverGirl's up to something. Thank you so much, CoverGirl. I can't wait to do my own sleuthing. Next, I got a package from 2020 Beauty, but I got it a little bit late. I'm supposed to get it on October 2nd for National Brow Day, but they sent me a tinted eyebrow gel. I believe that I've tried a mascara from them before, but I'm not sure about the eyebrow gel. Try it on the front end of my brows. They're already a little stiff. Oh, wow. Now I have to do the other because it looks like I have no eyebrows. New insecurity unlocked because I did not know how thin these were until just right now. Well, thank you, 2020 Beauty. I will be using this for the rest of eternity. And they sent me little tweezers, which you never can have enough of. Next, oh my gosh, this is so big and so cool. This is from a brand called Glaze. They sent me three glazes. This is a clear glaze for all. This one's for me and this one's for your bestie. Unfortunately, my bestie is a blonde. So I'm taking blazing brown bestie applications at this moment although i'm not sure which one of these would match my hair better this is the bottom this is the top do we agree hair glazes are just so good in general and so many celebrities use them to get that glossy finish like madison beard did officially come out and say that her secret to shiny hair is hair glazes that's all i have to say so excited to use these i feel like my hair needs a refresh so bad it's just Trying for hydration and shine right now. Thank you so much, Glaze. These are going to be so well loved. And last in the biggest box, I'm not going to lie, I thought this was leather cleaner coming in the mail, but it's something much better. This is from a brand called Malin and Goats. I've never heard of this brand before. The packaging is so minimalistic and iconic. It's got the pull out drawer, which I'm obsessed with, so you don't have to rip the packaging. Now, I did do a little sniff already because, you know, I can't wait. I'm too excited. And honestly, it is so good. The only thing that I can compare it to is Mason Margella's by the fireplace. Something in both of them that I'm obsessed with. I'm getting it. Wait. Okay, unfortunately, the scent description is not on here, but if I figure it out, I'm going to put it on the screen. Mm, this is difficult. I think I like this one better. I like this one better in a feminine way, and this one's more masculine. However, I feel like this could be very, very unisex. Sometimes I think that, and then John smells it, and he's like, no. This is literally a perfume, and I'm like, oh, is it? But oh my golly, it smells so good. It smells peppery, it smells musky, but at the end, there's something sweet about it. I really, really love it. The best part is they sent me a candle too. It smells so yummy, oh my gosh. And it's a smell that you know the whole house is gonna smell like. Oh my God, I just took like a really, really deep inhale of that. That is at the bottom of my lungs. I'm not that mad about it though. If I had more of these and I wasn't so selfish, I would give this to my father or John's father. I think I like him more. Thank you so much, Melanin Goats. You literally changed my life. I'm so excited to learn more about this brand because it is so stinking good. And that is all the PR I got in the past two weeks. Do we like that? Do you prefer me to show up every Sunday and be consistent with the one to two items? Or would you rather me skip a week every once in a while and give a big haul? Let me know. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you guys tell me that you want me here on Sunday and I get enough items anyway, I'll be right here. And if not this Sunday, I will absolutely be here the following Sunday. And thank you to these amazing brands. Okay, bye.